Feature Cam 2019 benefits from a new turning toolpath strategy known as back cutting. Back cutting allows you to remove materials in both directions as well as running at higher feed and speed values. So I've currently loaded in this clutch housing component and as you can see from the left hand side I've already pre-programmed a variety of different features. The turning features on both the main and the sub spindle setups use the traditional turning toolpath strategy. So I'm just going to verify the total machining time by running through a centerline simulation and taking note of the time from the details tab. And as you can see, the time is 40 minutes and 29 seconds. Now let's compare that to the back cutting toolpath strategy. So I'm just going to deactivate the two conventional turning features and activate the back cutting. As you can see, if I enter into the feature and the strategy tab, you can see that we're using the back cutting toolpath strategy and I'm actually machining the roughing pass towards the face of the component and the finish pass towards the spindle. The next thing of note is if I enter into the operations, you can see we're using specific back cutting tools which are set up to run at higher feed and speed values. These back cutting tools are included in the default tool cribs and are defined using the insert shape of 35 degree diamond. You can see that we're using a feed and speed override when compared to conventional turning tools. So at this point I'm going to preview the toolpath, so I'm just going to take a view from the side. So as you can see from the centerline simulation, we actually enter into the material using an arc shape. This arc can be specified in the feature by navigating to the turning tab, and you can use two different ways of specifying it. You can select this tick box here, which specifies the back cutting engage radius as the depth of cut. Or by deselecting this value, it enables another attribute for further customization. In this case, I'm just going to use the depth of cut. This engage radius can also be specified in the machining attributes. On the turning and bore tab, you can see at the bottom right hand corner, you have a back cutting engage arc radius, where you can specify to use a specific value, or again to use the depth of cut. There is also a default back cutting withdraw distance that can be specified in the machining attributes, or on an operation by operation basis. So at this point, I'll run a 3D simulation to show the results, and then we can compare that machining time. Just going to play through. Just going to pause it one second, slow it down just to show you the motion of the toolpath. You can see it enters in with that radius and then proceeds to remove the remaining material. Just speed this back up until our simulation is complete. You can see we have features on the main spindle as well as the sub spindle. And there's our completed clutch housing component. Finally, opening up the results window, navigating to the details tab, you can see that we've now got a machining time of 30 minutes 42 seconds.